Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to answer a question that I received from a viewer on my Instagram page. The question is, just out of curiosity, does one really have to use a fountain pen to do sketching with watercolors? The quick answer is no, it's not necessary to use fountain pens. There are actually many other pens you can use for watercolor sketching, and today I'm going to recommend some to you. The main reasons why I use fountain pens is because you can use your own inks and with watercolor you will want to use waterproof ink because if you use water soluble ink and you apply water onto the lines the lines are going to dissolve and they are going to look messy unless you are going for that sort of look and because you can refill the fountain pens with your own inks you can use the pens over and over again it helps save money in the long run and it's actually good for the environment because you don't have to throw away any disposable pens. The last reason is some fountain pens, they come with special nibs that can help you produce lines that have a look that you just cannot get with other types of pens. For example, here I have a Fude nib fountain pen. A Fude nib is a bent nib. So with this nib, I can draw with the tip to produce thin lines or I can draw with the broad tip there to produce really thick lines. And here I have a Namiki Falcon. This pen features a flexible nib. So when I press down harder, I can get a thicker line. And if I use very light pressure, I get a thin line. And here I have many pens that I can use with watercolor because many of them are using waterproof ink. The first and most important thing to do before you buy a pen is actually to find out what type of ink is in the pen. You can look at the description on the body if there is any to find out what ink the pen is using. And if there is no information in this case here, you would have to go online to do some research. Look specifically for pens that mention they are waterproof or if they are using pigment inks, those pens are great for watercolor as well. By the way, finding a pen with waterproof ink is just a starting point. Not all waterproof inks are light fast, which is to say that if you expose the ink to light long enough, the ink may fade in the future. So if you really want to be sure, find waterproof inks that are pigmented. So for example, here I have two pens that feature waterproof inks. This is a Sharpie marker that uses permanent ink. They come with all sorts of different points. Here I have the extra fine point and the ink inside it's waterproof when dry, but after a few months, the ink will fade and that's regardless of which color you are using, even the black will fade. So even though this pen can be used with watercolors, I don't use this with watercolor. This is the Pilot Jet Stream. It's a ballpoint pen. The ink is also waterproof when dry, but I don't know if this ink is light fast, so I don't use this pen with watercolor either. By the way, for these two pens, if you spray fixative over the lines, the colors will break. So that's another area where you may want to test before you use the pens on your actual art. All right, let's go through some of my recommendations. This is the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. This pen is available in different colors and it's from the Signal series of pens. These are ballpoint pens, so they may come with the characteristic ink blobs at the start or end of the lines. Now these are disposable pens. I believe they don't come with refill, so once you use them up, you would have to throw them away. So this pen, it's almost used up. I would have to throw this away. And let's put some water on the ink and see if they are waterproof. And this ink is definitely waterproof. The next pen I recommend is the Uniball Eye. This pen is also known as the Uniball Vision in some countries. It's available with different tip sizes. This is Micro. This is Ultra Micro. I believe there is another size which I do not have. This pen features pigmented waterproof ink. And it's also available in different colors. All right, let's test this. So this ink dries relatively fast, just like the Uniball Signal Gel Stick, and it's waterproof, as you can see. Here's a variant of the Uniball Eye or the Uniball Vision. This is the Uniball Vision Needle with a needle point tip. Some people may prefer needle point to roller ball, 
And these are the colors that I have, orange, green, blue, purple, there may be more. I'm not sure if these are available with other tape sizes. The one that I'm using here, this is a fine. Let's have some water on this as well. It looks like it hasn't dried yet. Let's try again. This time I have allowed this to dry for a longer time and now you can see it's waterproof. So you may want to test the drying times for your pans as well. Next we have the Uniball Air. This is available in micro and uh, normal, non-micro. This is a roller ball as well. You may notice I feature a lot of Uniball pens and that's because the Mitsubishi pencil company that makes the Uniball pens, they make many of these with waterproof ink. And this is the Uniball Signal, the Uniball Gel Impact, another Uniball Signal. This is the Uniball Signal DX. Uniball Air is one of my favorite pens because you can actually create thin and thick lines depending on how much pressure you put on the pen. That was the micro, let's try the non-micro. This is waterproof. There are pens from other brands that you can try as well such as the Copic Multi Liner. This is a technical pen with needle point tip. This pen comes in different colors and here we have the Faber Castell Pit, Kritake Mangaka, Rotring Tiki. I also know of the Micron and Pilot uh, technical drawing pens. There are actually many out there. Some brands actually make technical pens that can be refilled such as Rotring or Rapidograph. This is a needle point as well. By the way, I use needlepoint and technical pen interchangeably. So this is the ink converter that you can fill up with your own ink. And obviously this is going to last much longer compared to the disposable pens. And these technical pens are available in many tip sizes. Way more compared to fountain pens. They have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way up to 1.0. The thing with technical pens is you have to draw with the pen more vertically. Technical drawing pens usually dry very fast. This is the Uniball Signal UM100, Signal UM307. So I thought this is going to be waterproof but apparently it's not. And I actually waited for this to dry for quite a while. The Uniball Signal UM151 and the Uniball Impact UM153S. So I just found out that not all Uniball Signal pens are waterproof. And lastly, you can go with brush pens as well, but choose one that has waterproof ink. This needs some time to dry. Let's try again. This time I have allowed sufficient time for the ink to dry. Alright, to see the full list of pens that I've recommended, just check out the video description below. I believe I have detailed reviews for each one of them. And if you have recommendations for other pens that have waterproof ink, uh, let me know in the comment section. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one.